There we go. Okay. Uh, finally have everything up. Uh, well, sort of. <laughs> I forgot I didn't even boot up the PS4. Or PS5, rather. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, bear with me a moment. Anyway, uh, how y'all doing? Pretty, pretty late start, but... I mean, we won't run too late in this one. Uh, this will be a slightly shorter stream, probably because I get the feeling we'll do one of the side B routes because they're they're all a little bit shorter than the Iris route was. Let me just hold on. You're probably gonna okay. There we go. Just had to tweak the position of the mic. Nope. All right. I don't have the Elgato plugged in. Nice. And I'm just super unprepared today. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, oh nice, it's, <laughs> oh what a disaster. There we go, cool. So today we'll be playing Ape Escape. Uh, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, we left off. All oh, right. Yeah, we were asking this mysterious man for his name. Any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. Are you enough sleep? <sighs> no, not these past few days. And I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Dante. What a, what a bro. Yeah, also Renji's fucking dead. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Yeah, that's pretty fucking high. Actually... Well, with the end of US dollar conversion, that's actually not terrible. Hey, hey. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Alright. Let's investigate the pictures. What are you staring at, staring creeper? creeper? I agree. I can't catch a fucking break. <laughs> what about you? What What's the status? Nothing special. Bet. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Are sent automatically to building management according to the record from yesterday. From 6 30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8 55 p.m., the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Okay. And I mean, we have to. We have 310. Renju has to be like one. I. Hmm. Renju's probably like what? Maybe like 155 if I take a round estimate. Actually, hold on. Does it list his weight? Nah, it does not list weights. Okay. We'll just have to uh, figure it out as we go along. Oh. 
chair. Wooden barrel. Nah. <laughs> nah, you're not too late. Uh, we, we basically just started. Okay, what about the beer kegs? The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Okay. So what? Uh, 310 minus 44 is terrible at math. Give me a moment. Uh, 306. 266 pounds total without the oil drum? Let me check inside. Let's get that into a... Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? <laughs> no. There are no traces of blood on the trident. And no indication that Renji was stabbed. There would have been a very fucking obvious indicator if he got stabbed with a trident. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's look inside the oil drum. Oh. What? Smells like gay in there. There's something inside. That, I, that is the watch, I think. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Yep. That's Renju's watch, all right. Sis. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Yep, so we, yeah, we, he was definitely inside of there. So 266, I mean, we still don't know Renju's weight. So, yeah, we'll be a little bit. You know anything strange? Um... You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was the she cooking? What was she gonna say? <laughs> what was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. You can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? Nah. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Understandable. Not until the day I die. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? I'm stalling. But don't tell anyone. Alright. Let's see. Surveillance. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? I'm gonna guess no. Unfortunately, no. God damn it. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. What a fucking coincidence. Yes, I have played this game before. I'm just, uh... It would just be very boring if I basically narrated it from all a, uh... 
from the perspective of someone who knows everything. It's all a bit. I've deceived you. Well, yeah, no, really. Uh, just, just, just kind of playing along with it. Nah, I would, uh, I, I very rarely show games I have not played, only if, like, the only exception being if I know someone's gonna enjoy it and that's gonna make a personal, <laughs> I wouldn't mass show a game I've never played. <laughs> that would just be a mistake in the making. Um, oh. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. That's disgusting. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. Good. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. And someone changed his pants. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. Oh yeah, so he's over 150 pounds. So... Yeah, uh, 266 minus, um, 266 minus 150, uh, uh, about give or take 105 pounds, I think, if I have my math correct. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Okay, 58. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Like, give or take, yeah. So, wasn't there someone who said that they were about 105 or so? Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Jesus. Alright, uh... The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. Unfortunately so, yes. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Very thorough. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, I mean, at the very least, like, at least he didn't go out, like, in a super painful way. Well, kind of did, but you get the point. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. There, yeah, it is indeed. Still there. Uh, what's going on with his neck? Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Like who? You mean that that fellow? Any place you can think well, of? Well, there is one place. Yeah? Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? 
All Daddy right. used to go to a place called Marble a lot. Maybe they know something about him. All right, all right. Yeah, Daddy owned Lemnus Gate, and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Yeah. She's probably too busy throwing shovel I forward. She might be. I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. All right. Do you really want to talk to the gremlin? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. You're right, I'll but at what him. cost? Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a pot. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. All right, let's let's, let's get that. Let's get Matsushita Diner and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Let's go to Golden Yokocho first. Certainly need a fucking drink from this one. Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renshu for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Oh, hello, so, how are you? Huh? Let's head inside. Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. I just realized it's a Bluetooth Another speaker. News. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is on. Yeah, so this, this crash still happens, but no one, uh, there's no critical injuries. Which, you know, considering the critical injury, <laughs> that's a word, I swear. Uh, Skim that was Renju, and well, he's dead here, so... Yeah. <laughs> nine! Nine bottles! Just kidding, there's 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Put that in a fucking t-shirt. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. <laughs> you didn't deny it though. Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. Um, look, he is right, though. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. He needs it. Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Shot down. I was half expecting them to make the refrigerator joke, but... Hmm. I think that's the Bonito. It's weird that you can't investigate it. What the TV? Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, what was it called? What was so good about it? The plot. Everything. And especially the plot. The music, too. The talented Mr. Dickley. I don't get that reference.
Alright, what's up? You having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Is it? Do you have a lot of friends? I was gonna say no out of habit, that's so mean. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. That's dire when you can say you have more fun with Ota. Imagine being less fun than the fucking gremlin. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. Certainly sounds like preteens. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway, because I'm not going home. Yeah, it's been a long time since you've done this. Did what? Yeah, no worries. Again, uh, was it? I, I'm definitely going to stream something not so story heavy soon. Uh, just so more people can join in, since I know a lot of people want to just play this game themselves. But yeah, no, no worries. Uh, hope you have fun, have a good night. Sat at a table together like this. Oh, I motor mouth on that one. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? Or else. I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. It's a little clinical, but I get what you mean. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. We should, come on, we should eat. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Now look here, Missy. Really now. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. Hmm. Who? It's disgusting. Too clean. Too clean? Besides, there's no point in eating together. Sorry, I'm too good for you. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. There's just no winning with you. Yeah, me too. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Yeah, she, sure, she certainly has. Sh sure, certainly. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Yes, it is. How about Renju? Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Well, hmm. I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it. I was <laughs> usually drinking pretty hard. Straight from worry. the bottle, I hope. I have everything recorded. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. Yeah! It's good that he finally decided to let Mizuki have a good parent. <laughs> you think so? Renju wasn't terrible, but... <laughs> definitely had a fucking heap of issues. Still much better than Shoko. Fuck her. Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. It absolutely was. You have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so.
Date, honey. Long time no see. Oh, tired oh. and sore. Not but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Wait, she's Avengers probably heard yet. She probably heard the innuendo from you. What's Hi, the big deal nice at that point? Oh, you're I oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Wait, the fridge. Oh, Mama. What are you doing back there? Excuse you. <laughs> I love how every single time. A new round of hey, shit Dante, to investigate. You hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No. What about her? She quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> you know what? Five out of ten. That was that was a that was a respectable effort. I'm not gonna give you any more than that. Professional critique of your pun. Fucking popping puns in the media thread. Has business. Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Oh. Just the one way is fine, thanks. Oh, come on. Come on. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. A gang? Yeah, okay, we, we actually heard about that in the previous route. So, yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So, Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up. You look like a purple water balloon. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? And she just rolled with it. What a champ. I'll pass, thanks. Oh, I also I just realized this is um Are you scared of mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through 65. That's a pretty wide range. That's a pretty wide range. Okay, I, ch I cheated that one because I remembered fucking Pat had that, like, <laughs> that brain synchronization moment. <laughs> Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. About Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. 
This is for Renju. I promise. Is this your first time in a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Great father, which, I mean, to be fair, we, we still bought her over, but at least we did it with a purpose. Good call. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Well, you remember I rent you. Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Yeah, we, we saw this. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? Yep. Yeah, and the oil drum. Yeah, that's it. Which confirms that, yeah, he was carried up to the oil drum. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. That's cool. Daddy had a new lover. How do you think Mizuki would have taken? Because if I recall, she never actually does learn about uh, Pewter and, uh, and Renji's relationship. Like, anywhere in the game whatsoever. I'm, I'm still wondering how she would have taken that. Like, obviously, I don't think she would have been opposed, but just in general reaction. I'm gonna take a fat piss. The bathroom? Yeah. Yes. This place is small. The bathrooms are outside. Take care. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. Counting on you, boss. Mizuki's gonna fucking hate you for this. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Konami Date for Tekken. I'm just saying, Harada can make it happen. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. Saw it on the news, but we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? They'd probably just use this for porn. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Projection warning! A bronze dragon. Holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? I think a wish. Yeah, wait, we did that bit already. 
Also, yeah, God, I still wish there was a way we could... Because, uh, funny thing about Side B, you never find out about MoMA's, uh, ASAT obsession. There's, there's, there's no... There's never any sort of hint. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. Yeah, he does. Alright, what's up with you? I got nothing to say to you. Fuck you too. Actually, same thing has seen thing happen in the last room as well. There would be no point in talking to him. Yeah. I just might. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look. That's quite the motto. Yes, it is. Kind of right. Ikakin's Beatboxing for Beginners. Hey, Iva. It's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. Who? Pronounces it like that, a uh, the partition. Unless that's unless that's just another joke. It just fucking flew over my head. Hey, I have a look. Flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Is it? Pretty sure. It's pretty sure the game's lying to us. Can't investigate the ashtray. On the mouse is right there. Sweet, sweet. Base. All right. Let's talk about uh, the chairman. What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He left to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? Alright, about Renju. I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Maybe so. I mean, what? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that. C Cop! Date, a minute please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Could have been the fat dude. Yeah, that is definitely a fresh sig. Hey, Iba. Can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. <laughs> Doesn't elaborate. There's just a lot of not elaborating in this game. I like it. Hmm. 
a sofa. There are so someone must have been sitting here. The question is, how long? That's a busy in the ass cushions. Part of the cushion is just as I. Was there someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today, although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Yeah, I was totally invited. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. Ah, uh, fuck off. Yeah, give me a moment. I'm just, uh... Bam. Okay. There we go. How do you know that? I just do. All right. I remember now. Just... Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Uh... <laughs> neither of them was on the sofa, and neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? Just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Oh. <gasps> the dirty politician. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait! <laughs> I mean, considering who it is, yes, but... Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. <laughs> not enough? What? Whatever could you be referring to? I cannot approve the use of evolver in this situation. Damn it. Time for the ultimate superpower. What? Hey, did you just shoot at me? Yeah, the fucking mini gun. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Love this sequence.
That should have done much worse given how sharp that shard was. Or chunk. Iba, you saved me. The Secret Lives of Yakuza Wives. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this porno mag? You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know Deceitful that your reaction times are six times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. Also, yes, that is a very literal ability that Dante has. What the hell? You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. Owned. Owned. Hey, Fucking owned. Coward. I see you. Show your face. I know you. That's yeah, we're going to be interacting with the bitch man himself. Sejima, so, Congressman. What is this guy doing here? Ooh. All right, hold on. I'm just looking through, seeing. Yeah, a fucking Gatling gun. No comment. Okay. Hey, Iba. It's pronounced. I know. Yeah, we we got through that one. God, you're so short. Do, uh, do you have an alibi for today before? As Kumakuras, our branch of the Uji, the Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the door. We only got. You've been asked to hold. Date. At the hotel's record, they were also seen. It is not possible that, including Moma. Yeah. Okay. So his actually, do what? Renju's is gonna be different. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now it's kind of the opposite, you know. We're getting work from him. Well. Well, not even. Yeah. Not anymore. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Do you have an alibi? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard yeah. testimony can be unreliable. No shit. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. Don't know why. I agree. I can't trust that. I doubt, I doubt your payroll is that good. Even despite being hired by a politician, I feel like you'd still get, kind of get paid shit. The president of Lemnisgate? We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only That's saw gross. each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Wait, what the fuck are you doing here, buddy? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. With a, with a, with a fucking... Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? Yeah. How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But... We haven't done anything illegal. If you want to care. accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just I mean, happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. 
I mean, I would still just put the fucking picture out just to be a dickhead. That's just me, though. Maybe I'm a little petty. Alright. <sighs> exactly as Shoko was affiliated. Yep, the same, same bit about the uh, the fraud scam thing. I heard that the former hack of Kumakura's committed suicide for last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood. Six years ago, he, uh... And naturally, because I'm his brother, and next... That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? About Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Yeah. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. presents our best opportunity for finding leads. Should we go to Lemniscate? Yeah, let's go. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. But no, no, walk me home. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Stay mad, you son of a bitch. I'm going to Lemniscate. I'm gonna see the receptionist. I'm gonna say really embarrassing things in front of her. And you're not gonna. This is all really suspicious. What? Yeah. Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras, there's definitely something going on there. Aye, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Jellyfish get in here. So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Mizuki? It's me. Boss? Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? Mom? Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Your meds. Untake your meds. Now. Would I with Iva? I mean, don't really think an eyeball can can drink alcohol. Anyway, your eye. Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Yeah, well, I don't care about your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're... What's that about? What do you mean? You don't usually look like that. You have a Somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. That's Ivo. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. I 
will not. Why not? Because I won't. That's not a good reason. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. That's pretty fucking drastic. So and Moma are pretty suspicious though. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no Victims yeah. were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling. And their left eyes taken out. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Hmm, huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. I was so related to the Kumakuras. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. Please. All right, let's talk about conspiracy theories. Wow, Mr. what was that? I meant to say conspiracy theories. I just fu completely fumbled. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, So Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district, to be exact. Ah, oh, yes, Chernobyl. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion of the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than 1 30th their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Fraud! Timing is certainly suspicious to sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting. After the accident, Sosajima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sajima family is no worse off. True. But I it's not like he got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed, All right, we're calling. Uh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My name is Akasuka from HQ. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call, girl, from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? Oh, I know who killed Shokunodami and if yeah, it's in call here, before. I, will t I suppose you might you will kill and if there if you want I'll be seeing it. This has to be That's what I thought. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon before Renju was killed. In other words, you're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know. Very long silence.
Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki yeah. saw her own mom. And you ran away. We've been to this before. And I just. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. Yeah, you better. Tell her that I'm sorry. Good thing you're not selfish pocket, or else you fucking take it by your. No, I'm gonna I'll beat you up. Well, oh! <laughs> you, you're cute. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't How get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Based, 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 You shut up, you're a coward. You're kidding. She's not lying, by the way. Yeah, just may as well just save just in case. Okay. Let's keep playing. <laughs> Let's go on a date. You know, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kinda like that. And I kinda like you. Stay mad, I'm scoring. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Oh. Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. Where is Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. About Andrew's case. I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. Why ass bitch? That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait. It's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Attention all Lemniscate staff. This dude's eating beans. Okay. Where have you been? Eating no, beans? I'm just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. It could be eating beans for all I know. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. At least you're being honest. And I ate some ramen at Juro's and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. What well, about Mizuki? Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. <laughs> oh, if only you knew. I have no reason to come. hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um... You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. No, how? 
If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. Well, you're a bad writer. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? And you gave Mizuki the proof read that shit. You really know better. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um. Okay, we look. We didn't even need the thermo for that one. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Stay mad, you son of a bitch. Okay, fine. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Yeah. Idols don't kill people. Yeah, they don't kill, they murder. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa you really is do. a savior to me. And you do you do do face. <laughs> Auto my my brain actually just buckled. Tessa for that I one. know wouldn't hurt anyone. It's Ota. I wanna talk to Yes. The girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter. Yes, that's what I decided to call her. Not to our face, of course. Hey, girl with the big tits. Good job, buddy. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. I went for it. You wouldn't do it. I want to run away and never look back. All right, Savior. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block, and I saw all this awful negativity online. I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're telling me. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Yeah, impossible. Because my idol. But do you suspect her? I need oh, to yeah. hear her side of the story. Yeah, no shit. She like <laughs> she's one of the most likely I suspects. Find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. And he's right. But do it for Iris. <laughs> do it for her. It's Elsa. Around 6.15, I get. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. <gasps> What's going on? What, what happened? Ah! E-girl jump scare! Date. Iris, there's something to come with me. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out what video games you actually play. Shovel Forge is a front. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. Do 
Do you have an alibi for last night? What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. E-girls are naturally deceitful. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... Can I ask your mother about your I'll alibi? Ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? You used to work at the main I heard cafe. you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. Alright, uh, is Ota's story true? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p- You and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okiura called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with them? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were gonna be there, but the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. <laughs> You're too good for that. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before, especially with important people being there. About the surveillance, what about the surveillance camera? camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira at 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iba? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the- And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inf- Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? Sorry. I had a podcast to record this morning, so- Uh, bitch. If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? It would cause a bigger trouble for- <laughs> Boss version of sync. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Well, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible, you see. There's evidence. Look at him walking. Well, I'm waiting for it to circle so I can investigate the boss. We know it's sedation, though. Oh, I can't. Okay. 
A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. Oh yeah? The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? I don't think so, Date. This is irrelevant to the question of how to lift Renju's body. Okay, yeah, it's specifically referring to getting the game hooked. Uh. The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open. Empty. It weighs approximately 44 pounds. Doesn't really tell us anything. Um. Menju's weight. 160 pounds. Yep. Discovery Renju's body. Renju's corpse was just hanging from a beam on the ceiling. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Okay. Yep. I forgot it wasn't its it own. like this. Ugh. Speech bubble. Or First, rather, uh, Renju bubble. was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in its jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. It is doable, especially with e-girl strength. I guess it isn't impossible. Don't you know e-girls are just the toughest creatures? After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But... But, there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately but... for her, she could have. How? And the elevator record. Up oh, or not. Um, the watch. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? Absolutely not. I need this W. You don't understand. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off, but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure, just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. He's right there. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Yes. Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me. Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Don't worry about it. My sleep paralysis demon. You understand. Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. 
or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. It, I mean, that case, it literally is his business. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Yep. The oil drum and Runju's weights. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Why are you... Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. <gasps> it's me! She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? She's playing games on her phone. It looks like, but we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she is in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, shit. She's talking to the gremlin. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Let's enter the e-girl's mind once more. Iris is experiencing Get ready for Soul Forge round two. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six, six minutes. minutes. So before time is up... I know. Then, let's begin. What is this place? Certainly not Shovel Forge. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium scan, activate!
Oh, hello there. Uh, yeah, you're just here for Iris's fucked up sonium. <laughs> Sinking in the vein. Well, we're okay, so yeah, definitely not Shovel Forge. A CRT TV. So, do we hit it or do we spin the dial? Because guess what? This is our first route split for side B. Do you know what? Yeah, spin to win. Let's go. Oh. to believe but these are the faces of the victims of the original cyclops killer what what is going on here iris what are you hiding we should continue there are more objects to inspect now Welcome to Iris Somnium. A full body mirror. Let's hold off on that. Let's try and dump this uh this timing that we got. A double door. Yes. Let's try to open it. doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. Well, we have a torso here. A revolver. Is it real? I guess of a gun. It appears that way. Let's hold off on that. With a... If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? I don't know. Let's choke it. Unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. All right, all right. CRT is still inactive, but that one works. May as well continue down the same path. Let's turn the dial. That 
video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. I absolutely- I'm still in love with just- Oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Oh, oh but yeah, like, just how this really fucked up this is compared to the rest of the other zombies that we've experienced so far. Like, this game's- this game's ability to change tone at a dime is Let's fucking go. immaculate. Well... Only a shelf. Let's hold off on that. So the theme seems to be re recreating each murder, so... A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. Let's punch it. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Dantep. I my soul out of While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Hopefully. Same as usual, let's turn the dial. of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. Was it confidential? She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Well, we need the gun. A revolver. Let's investigate it. It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. Why would this be here? What's this? The trigger. That's suspicious. Just a lot. Well, it's too high up, but let's try oh, jumping anyway. Weekly Shonen? Don't say it. I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Nobody's blaming you. I gotta. All right. A common gas canister. Uh, better not burn the entire sixty seconds off. An operating. We need something to burn this uh, times two. Not much in here. What locker? Nah, still no good. What about the medicine bottle? Let's investigate it. There is no label. I can. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. A 
full body mirror. A revol Yeah, we exhausted both options regarding that. Do you know what? A Fuck it, let's go for broke. Let's oh. choke. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, uh, no. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. An AI labor union? Sounds dystopian. That's fucked up. I won't drink it. Fine. It's worth a shot. Worn out reference book. It is a thick book. Let's rip it. This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Oh, it disappeared. Melted down like a grilled cheese. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. It's an opera. Let's. Do you know what? Let's go for broke. Let's perform surgery. Who do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? It might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps you should abandon that line of thinking. Well, it's worth a shot. Let's let's go back over to the uh, to the third lock. Four minutes. All right. So let's not chug the medicine. A drug. Let's instead not smell it. An old-fashioned TV. There is a. So I'm sure. Oh yeah, same thing I had before. Okay. So. A full-body mirror. Let's punch it. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Yeah, sure you're not. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? I don't know myself. A comment. Alright, let's kick the... Caster. Ow. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. Three minutes, Dante. Just a locker. Let's open it. Ah! Iba? It's all right. More importantly,
Eh, six out of ten. That is. Yeah, think, think, think about that one for a while. Because guess what? <laughs> you won't be seeing an explanation for a while. What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. <laughs> Date is the tub war sex. You know, genuinely surprised Date never actually turned out to be a tub war sexy man. No. The pieces could have linked. That means the person who killed them was... <laughs> yeah, she's still out like a light. Let's get our uh, investigations. Date, can you turn on the TV? Video drone is about to start. Ha! <laughs> What's video drone? You haven't seen video drone? It's a cult classic. I haven't seen it, and that's not a TV anyway. I video drone is such a fucking cool movie, dude. Dante wants to fit with I. Oh, oh, oh! It's a horrible mental image you've just given me. Why would you do this? Ah, <sighs> this brings back memories. Date and I consummated our love for each other many times on that table. I don't remember that at all. Well, you're lost, buddy. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I... But you kinda have to. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Oh, video drone is so. I'm I'm assuming they've spelled it differently to be uh, to avoid any sort of copyright. But it's meant to be video drone with an M. Uh, it's one of David Cronenberg's movies. Which, if you have a stomach for body horror, it's a fucking great movie. Definitely watch it. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. Really? Really, really? What well, blue figure? Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer? Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others.
I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. I don't know. Hey, did you hear something just now? Mm hmm It must be in your head. Was it? I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. It's not good enough. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing. But in reality, it was dropped completely. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that Dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. Courage is magic, it turns dreams into reality. <laughs> Sorry. Had a moment. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Summarize for me. You learned some stuff. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? Not gonna remember. What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news, but I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? 
I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even... You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Uh. No L, no W's taken today. Not yet. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. That's except that's incredibly fucking suspicious, but Besides, sure. There's a lot I want to ask her too. Why don't you just All do right, it at the sure. comfort of your own home? You already know she was talking with Ota. Have I a hack into it? She, I mean, she already cracked the security protocol, unless it's like, unless it's like a rehash, but actually that's pretty, that's pretty plausible. Tessa! Oh, Ota! Isn't your phone broken? No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Where is she? Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I'm probably not going to find much of anything here. Honestly, Ma, yeah, that actually, is, actually, is pretty plausible, all things considered. Yeah, nothing's nothing really. Why'd you call out to here? No, I didn't tell him to come. He just showed up on his own. That's right, the chattest VTuber. I was niling with Tessa earlier. No one calls it that. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. Alright, alright, fucker, tell me what that thing is this. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. Also, yeah, late night. Uh, because I had work, then I had other stuff. Decided to do an exercise. Finished One Piece Alabasta. A lot has happened. Also, I'm still grieving over losing the fucking Nirvana Initiative LE. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two Witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you, who's that? Now, surely, surely, now, picture yourself in this situation. 
This dumbass 24 year old manlet telling you to say, Ah, oh, who's that? Not even in the direction of the entrance. Somewhat. Do you look? What? Clearly not. At the door, someone's standing outside. What does Dante were talking about? So he looks. So, uh, funny thing, I don't actually remember which route we're on, on this one. Where am I? I, uh, I actually forget which choice is which, and I'm getting the really sinking feeling. <laughs> That we took the. <laughs> Looks like you're awake now. Ota, the boy I asked to watch the bar. I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Yeah, uh, I had a friend who who got their order fulfilled. I need to check mine because seriously, thing on GameStop, my order still says in pro in you know in progress. It has not said it's been canceled yet. Joe, let me very quickly look into that. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, I might kill the uh, bit right in just a moment. Let me just run this by. Okay, yeah, it's really weird. Uh, it shows it twice. One of them says cancelled. The other one says uh, active. So, I'm really, really confused. I really, really hope that gets fixed, dude. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. Date went hard. <laughs> It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Yeah, you're, buddy, you're out a while. Which means this is probably uh, the right, that one route, so... Uh... <laughs> Date, the boss... Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well... Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Yeah. So, I mean, Iris. Remember the ice cutting machine from Route A that we saw in the background? It functions. No, that's. The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now.
What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes is the fastest. Please, please let me make it in time. The polar bear. W. Stay away from Tessa. Uh! Yeah, you picked a really bad time to jump in. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the Annihilation Route. We spun to one. Remember, getting sick drifts, it counts in situations like these. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, so Ota's also dead. Ota. Uh, but yes, fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, this game is rated uh, Sero Z over in Japan. Uh, 18 plus. For very fucking good reason. There you are. Finally. I was looking all over for you. It's rare to see you down like this, but it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble, and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? It was Ota's fault. Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Honestly plausible. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, 
then killed himself. Oh, someone's, someone's, not, someone's alarm's going off. Hold on. Okay, we're good. That's ridiculous. Oto would never kill Iris. And how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? The polar bear. The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But if murder-suicide was the plan, the costume served no purpose. Maybe he was thinking like this. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it. Making the president, Renju, the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki is Ota's close friend. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? Uh, do you want an honest answer? Shoko was married to Renju. Maybe he was trying to get at Renju by killing her. Honestly, there are better reasons to kill Shoko. Like, just being a fucking awful person. That's a stretch. They've been divorced for years. Ota knows all about it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. From Tessa! Ota showed himself on the stream. If he was going to kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. Ota and the polar bear on the screen at the same time would prove that they're not the same person. That behavior would be totally unnecessary if he was going to commit suicide anyway. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. So he lies down on the workbench and turns on the ice cutting machine himself? I don't buy it. There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Are you sure? I am. Oh, I know that. Well? Ota could have stabbed himself. Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it didn't work, he went for the ice cutting machine. Then, shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Boss, come on. Ota goes out to the water, stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse? Yeah, it's completely foolproof. Well, I wasn't being serious. I didn't think Ota was the culprit from the beginning. I was just playing devil's advocate for HQ. Really? Yes, really. Something tells me you actually believe that. You're just... <laughs> You just, you just refused to say you got owned. Anyway, Ota didn't kill anyone, and he didn't kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Stay away from Tessa! Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. That's when he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine. And then... Then... who is the culprit? I wish I knew. We're up to four victims. But Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Right. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. Yeah, which is the biggest telltale sign. So let's sign. focus on the three other victims. Shoko, Renju, and Iris. What connects these three? Connections. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? You think the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? Maybe, maybe not. That is a good starting point. Mama. Renju and Shoko were connected to the Kumakura. 
things, but there's no connection to Iris. <laughs> About that, buddy. The politician. Renju, Shoko, and So. There is a connection between Renju and Shoko through the Kumakuras, but again, I can't see any clear link to Iris. If only you knew. Me. I know Renju and Shoko, and I'm connected to Iris, but I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. No. Now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. And if I start doubting myself now... Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. I have been working with you for years. I know better than anyone that you are innocent. How about Hitomi? Hitomi and Renju are definitely linked. They were high school classmates, and she did say that she met Shoko twice. But I can't imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way. No matter what the circumstances were, it seems impossible to me. Not to mention she only has one arm. What about Mayumi? Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. Mayumi hated Iris, and she didn't think well of Lemna's Gate either. And since Renju is the president... Anyway, the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. And above all else, she would never harm her only son, let alone kill him. Mizuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Shoko and Renju were her parents, and she was close friends with Iris. She was good friends with Ota, too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. Thinking of her as a suspect is ridiculous. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in shit through that paddle. Of the people I know, I can't peg any of them as the murderer. Uh, give me a moment. leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. Continue your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit, to get justice for the victims. You're right. Got it, boss. Let's go back to the warehouse. This forklift is old. It does not appear to be functional. It has not been moved in some time. Yeah, no, uh, no Gagami jokes here. Uh, no, nothing so far. Iris's estimated time of death and cause of death have been confirmed. The video was not a recording. It was a live stream, filmed in real time. Which means Iris's time of death is 3.20 a.m. Iris also had her left eye removed. Yeah. And like Renju and Shoko, Iris's left eyeball has not been recovered. Right here. I am sure you are already aware of- Just before I arrived. About 3.30 in the morning. And the cause of death. Right, about that. Ota had a stab wound from a kitchen knife in his side. Correct. What was the exact cause of death? Was it the knife wound, or- I cannot determine that. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench, 
He was certainly on the verge of death. If he weren't already extremely weak, we would expect to see more signs of struggle. But why, why did the culprit put the costume on Ota? Unknown. It's a mystery. Yeah, that's about it for that. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. LTD is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. I have done some research. Such such shitty security for a <laughs> to be it's also an abandoned warehouse. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same o Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, yeah, we know Okiura about this. The company Renju in short. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is. Date, we should get moving. Officers from the local jurisdiction are checking the warehouse thoroughly. We will not find anything of importance here. Yeah, you're right. You can ask CSI to inform you if they find anything. All right. I'm piecing the fuck out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. Huh? About the original Cyclops serial killings. Why this all of a sudden? Because I want you to solve this case, Mr. Date. I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. So, if I can help you, even a little... Why didn't you say anything in Abyss? The boss was there. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. So, I decided to meet you here. All right, let's hear it. Let's go. Earlier, I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. Let me explain why. I'll start by telling you the identity of the Cyclops killer. Although, it's more accurate to say Killers. More than one? In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. One of them was born a murderous psychopath. The other is Rohan Kumakura, the previous chairman of the Kumakuras. They each Death had tracks. a role to play. The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. Who is the murderous he was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxygen? How can you breathe? Oxytocin is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. It is colloquially referred to as the love hormone. It causes a tranquilizing effect which improves mood and relieves stress. It is normally secreted when the body makes contact with an object of affection, such as an embrace or caress. I'm sure you know what this implies, but... Put a, put a, put a pin in that. He was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute. Ejaculation! His brain was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. Due to the unique idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins. And dolphins. By performing a certain action. Yeah, I said an ejaculation. What was it? Murder. Well, in a sense, I'm also right. Dopamine is a hormone linked to the reward system of the brain. 
The pleasant feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. He got pleasure from killing people? It's slightly more complicated than that. Killing people was the only way he could get pleasure. He was 12 when he took his first life. That enlightened him to the pleasure of murder, which he would do again and again. Most well, that, spike. I don't know. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. Even the official investigation material contains nothing of value. I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. All right, I know you look serious. Let's do a little bit of investigation. Yeah, it doesn't really have anything interesting for us. Uh... How about Rohan? 18 years ago, Rohan took a woman's eye. Weird, but okay. She was already dead. He put his finger into her eye socket and gouged it out. Ew. The reason why was simple. He was fascinated by women's eyes. Why only women's? Their beauty stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. Game theory: Would Rohan Kumakura pull a femboy's eye? He needed to. That's. Have them I'm to sorry. Make I'm so them sorry. his own. <laughs> Driven by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. From then on, he acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. He was very particular about his need that the eye belonged to a deceased woman. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, there weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner, the aforementioned psychopath. The Cyclops killer would commit the murder, and Rohan would take the eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. The power duo. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Let's summarize. The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. And one of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras. Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. That means... Pewter, tell me this. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. They actually picked him up on other charges. But, in any case, he is currently serving a life sentence in Fuchu Prison. Fuchu Prison? Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't have a name. He is simply called number 89. Number 89? I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that. That the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Because one is dead, and the other is behind bars. Hmm. Neither of them had the opportunity. I don't know if it could be possible. They, they could kill by sending pure negative energy. Like the fucking 4chan David Lynch post. Alright, let's break the news. Well, no, she probably already knows, but let's see how Miami's doing. Jesus. This 
is your fault. Objectively speaking, no. I heard from the police. Because you didn't take care of Iris, my boy Ota got involved. Date, I looked into the investigation report. Mayumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Did you not hear me? I said leave! <laughs> Dante, oh no. <laughs> let's go. Had a headache rating now. She's in no state. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, hello to everyone who is, uh, who is currently attending. Um, be careful if you have not played the Somnia Files. Um, if you have played it, welcome. I hope you, uh, hope you're having a good night. Or if you just, you know, just, you just don't care, then hey, same, same thing. Let's, uh, let's, let's go back to Date's house. Yeah, smart move, uh, because we're, we're kind of, like, knee-deep in one of the, in one of the more, uh, intense routes. But yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the, for the raid. I'm a little, I'm wondering why it didn't trigger the, uh, the notification. Hold on, let me, let me, let me deploy a test. Weird. Okay, yeah, the notification's still working, I don't know why it didn't pop with yours. And yeah, the following's, I don't know, maybe I need to, uh, ah, whatever, I'll worry about it later. Thank you, thank you both for the follows, by the way. Yeah, we're not gonna get any dialogue from these because it's a little too serious for flavor dialogue. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I made a very good choice for the uh, for the gifts. Alright, alright. About Iris. Yeah, understandable. Understandable to that too. Mizuki must know about Iris and Ota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet, not just in Japan, but worldwide. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Two days ago, her father's. This morning, two of her best friends. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Can I be left alone for a while? Okay, yeah, understandable. Have a good night. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't seem okay. <laughs> Iba, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. Understood. Alright, let's go over to Iris' house. Well, Atomi's house. Iris was my everything. We always went everywhere together, whether it was buying clothes or going to the movies or taking a walk or going shopping at the supermarket. When she was young, she would just hold one of my fingers. Her hand was too small to hold mine, and it was two, then three, and finally she could hold my hand. But eventually, she left my hands altogether. 
She started crossing her arms, being independent, even though she needed constant attention growing up. Hitomi, my entire focus is on this case. Is there anything at all you can tell me? I don't know if this is important, but... No, please. Tell me. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. The first time at the wedding, the second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. Prison? There's an acquaintance of mine from when we were younger. I visit them a few times a year. By coincidence, I saw Shoko. I don't think she noticed me, but I recognized her as Renju's wife right away. She was there for the same reason I was to visit one of the inmates. Do you know who? No, I don't. We didn't talk. Which prison? Fuchu prison. Fuchu. Prison? Fuchu prison. Oda was one of my students. You would be very surprised. I taught him in elementary school. I heard it from the police. Oda tried to help Iris and ended up... I don't know what to say. I have no words. Her memories are a part of this room when she was a baby. She fell off that sofa and cried and cried. Oh yeah, yeah, but I know, but I mean, it's like... Oh, oh yeah, about that, okay. Um, that actually does kind of get confirmed, but I will not elaborate for right now, uh, just for the sake of uh, future spoilers. But uh, yes, that actually is elaborated upon in one of the, uh, one of the appendix files, whatever the fuck. Um, I mean, it won't be in here because we just haven't hit that part, but was well, so it there's normally a file yeah all right one day she tore up her picture book all over the floor here another time she drew with crayons all over the window she painted my portrait on mother's day scratches on the floor chipped plates burn marks on the table stains on the cushions everything you see it all holds a memory of her, but why? I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going. I don't know what to do. Thinking about her. <laughs> Dante, please, you, you have to catch them. Please, please. I will. Trust me. Okay, let's go to Marble, because we need a fucking drink. Are you okay, honey? Huh? About last night. Well, at three in the morning, anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. You have the face of a ghost. I don't need a drink. I need information. You kind of need a drink, though. Do you have anything? Well, I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. Tell me. No refrigerator jokes. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. Remember what I told you before? 
that there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras. Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? So basically, two of the victims are... That must mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Three? Iris? No, not that one. He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. He's linked to the Kumakuras as well. How so? Have you heard the rumor? Yeah, I do wish Persona 2 Eternal Punishment Portable would finally be in English. Yeah. The Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. They of course look legit, but they're Yakuza fronts. I'll call those real estate companies the K.E. to keep it simple for you. The K.E. followed in So's footsteps. Yeah, we got 100 appendix files. They bought up land in Kabasaki. Now, back to So. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? So was the one who came up with it. I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. But look at Kabasaki now, when I see images of the destruction on television. My heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. Fucking, like, you know, now, like, every time I see that smile of his, I keep thinking of, uh, I think Daigo from, uh, Dororo. And that's a fucked up comparison to make. Casino but also it's right. Kawasaki will give new life to the city. They're both despicable assholes. After that, so moved fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. The bills passed, and it became an official government initiative. Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kabasaki district. At the moment, the area is still considered off-limits. However, the air in Kabasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. And all that land is owned by the KE. And by So himself. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. He's involved in some shady business. This is just another rumor, but the chemical plant exploding was no accident. By So and the Kumakuras, you mean? But there's no hard evidence of that. Also, yeah, it, it is right about to Ota because it's the presumption that he's like getting a. Uh... Actually, just gossip. No, never mind. Uh, what were we talking about? Ota and the Kumakura. Oh, right. You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki. Yeah, district? that's what I was thinking of, but. I actually forgot about this a little bit. The chemical plant explosion made times hard. Foot traffic went down, sales declined. No wonder it closed down. Ota must hold a grudge. Yeah. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. We gotta head out. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. Yeah, he holds a grudge, but like, kind of just like trying to work it in with the rest of it. Wouldn't he try to go after the Kumakuras? Unless the theory is that he knows that the uh, both Renju and Shoko have s at least some affiliation varying with the Kumakuras. But I feel like that would also be a massive fucking stretch. No, no, it was very helpful. I'm glad I can help, even if it's just a little. Because like the Renju stuff would be, un would be understandable. But only really towards the Kormakura is like 
trying to link that over to Red Shoe Choco would just be weird as fuck. But then, but then he would die. So then, come back anytime. Yeah, it, it, it's a fucking mess. Is basically the point. <laughs> yeah. Omu rice is very important. All right. Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? Grudge go away for ASAP fans. <laughs> to be fair, this also is also the side where we don't even know that Mama is an ASAP fan. What summary? We don't have anything unless, new. Unless he did some side sleuthing. That's not true. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research. <laughs> Fucking ASAP fans are like Stan using the JoJo, and he just. Like, they just naturally draw towards each other. It's like a fucking nom natural, like, genetic phenomenon. About number 89. I need to see if there's any flavor dialogue. I doubt it. I dare you say, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk to you. Uh, who is number 89? As you know, he is an assassin with multiple confirmed kills. He is currently serving a sentence at Fuchu Prison. I'm not proficient enough in the A-set game, so I, you're- <laughs> Sorry, I can't- I, I'm, I'm gonna have to sandbag that one. He was in prison six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. I know how it works, I just don't have After to- After his fourth it. murder, he was arrested by the police. Unknown. You don't know? No such person is listed in the family registry. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. However, he was I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. What the what catch with Pewter you? Pewter claims killings. that there were two culprits behind the original serial killings. One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras. But Rohan committed suicide last year. That leaves one culprit still alive. But number 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. Correct. However, I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. I know who killed Shogun Adami. If he was telling the truth, his involvement is possible. Unknown. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Approximately one month ago, Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Yeah, he said that. That must mean that he knew her somehow. It is possible. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to number eight. All right. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. If we plan on sinking with him, it would be more efficient. Can you arrange that? I can. Number 89. Sorry to interrupt your busy day, but I need you to tell me something. I'd appreciate your cooperation. What's your name? Number 89. You're real. I don't remember. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. 
Population 17 million. I love how he gets this different answer for this one. Uh, yes, yes, same question. Gives a very similar answer, but it is different. I don't have time for your jokes. You know Shoko Dami? Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. Yo, the original Cyclops killer. That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. One of? One of the two Cyclops killers. Who killed right. Shoko Nadami? Let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison. It's done. You've got a deal. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. It might take some time. Is that all right with you? Bet. Let's go. I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. The story of a lonely assassin. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. I wonder who F is. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. And you lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He became an assassin, a lone gunman, no agent, no employer. He was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner, but it didn't last long. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. But 
Somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. I love how this, they're the same goons. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no. But it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name, Falco, named for the falcon, a bird of prey. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night at the will of the organization. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. Time passed, and a few years back, Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow, he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment, in his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps, footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She was a teacher at some school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again, his former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then...
That's it. That's the end. Why did you stop? Was that the whole story? You mentioned a detective. What's the connection between that and Shoki? Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> If you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even- Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? <coughs> the sink. <laughs> juked. Fucking juked. Number 89 with the usual dosage. He will not be waking up anytime soon. Are you ready, Agent Date? Yeah. The time limit is six minutes. I know. Then let's begin. Not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah. Kakaroiba, kakaroiba, kakaro. Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. And stand up. Is this the Sagan residence? It definitely is. Number 89. What were you up to? The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really wants to hide it, huh? Somnium scan! Activate! This appears to correspond to the green thing. All right. We need to get past the gack. The Nickelodeon gack. Oh, see, yeah, I think this is my favorite uh, sync theme. A winter iris that blooms in the cold. I know, I know. Well, we did it. We did the tutorial. Let's go ahead and smell it. Smells like a typical winter iris. What does a typical iris smell like? Elegant and gentle. Can't you just tell me what it smells like? I had to search online for a description, but could not find one. Oh, right. I forgot about that. A winter. A winter. You can do it. I believe in you. Stop it! You're distracting me! I got one! Not anymore. Uh, right after I pulled it out, too. Did the green stuff react at all? We're hanging up. 
What the? All right, fine. We'll ignore it. <laughs> Finally, stop bringing it at least. Stopped. I don't know. But hey, it worked. Jump in, Iba. <laughs> Jump in. Do not have to shout. Huh. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I listened to you. It was worth a shot. Agent Date, there you've is got some four kind minutes. of. Let's try and stick her hand in. Find anything? Well, oh, there is something. A cork. What is this substance? Green tea? It's obviously not green tea. Perhaps it's jelly. It's not jelly. Let's tear it. Yeah. Are you sure this will help us uncover number 89's secrets? It might. We're getting closer. We've learned our lesson. Again. Ignore it. Curious, but what if they threaten me for money? You're a police officer. Have some backbone. <laughs> I... well, at least you didn't faint. You have three minutes, Dante. It's a pot. Steam it. It appears to be some kind of green curry. Maybe a soybean stew? It might also be boiled. Yeah, like a. A turtle ninja could leap out at any moment. Let's drink it. What is this anyway? You can tell by tasting it. I would like to know before I put it in my mouth. It's green, right? Don't say such things. I'm the one who has to drink it. <laughs> it is Gak. Fine. I'll have a sip. A sip. Iba? Hey, Iba! Iba! Thank you for the delicious soup. What kind of soup was it? Elephant. What did you say? I fucking love that. A book. A book. Here I go. What happened? Nothing.
I wonder what these books symbolize. I don't know. Maybe he used to oversee a library? Number 89. A librarian. Uh, you never know. What is that? It's an eye. Date, what are we going to do? Rohan jump scare. Kinda Are cute. Insane. <gasps> oh, 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 it's oh. Funny. Okay, okay. I forgot that I forgot this segment. Oh my god. Okay, so we will probably need to restart from the beginning, but Is let me have this. Let me have this. better it gets better uh let's try let's try kissing her what kiss her you like this you are like one of my limbs Iva. yes like an alter ego an incarnation of me to kiss hitomi yes then it's like me kissing hitomi right no you sure because that was making my heart rate rise. <laughs> Could it just be only your heart, please? <laughs> it's, it's... I said one minute. Hurry. Let's touch her. Where? Uh, well, uh, maybe her. Her. Uh, uh. You see, you see her. Her stomach. Yeah. Her dominals. Yeah. It's not like I'm touching her. She's extremely hard. Perhaps due to her being stationary? What did you say? That she is stationary? No, before that. She's hard? Hitomi is hard right now. Got it. That's useful information. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> God, what's Hitomi's condition right now? I totally lost it. Could you stop messing around? Or would you like me to crush you with this vice? Hey, relax, I was kidding. <laughs> you know what? We got a minute. A book? Let's try and see if we can complete it. What is this going to accomplish? We're driving number 89 into a corner. By tearing a book. Yeah. I remember how shocked I felt when Mizuki tore up one of the porno mags I was hiding. That situation was <laughs> What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's think, let's think, let's think. Book. A book. We might be able to do this. any relation to this. All right. Guess it's nothing then. A skull. Throw. Would that not be disrespectful to the dead? Dead? It's a hunk of calcium. All right. Sorry about this. Whose skull was this? Unknown. I also cannot determine the connection to number 89. Ah, Date, 30 seconds. It's Hito. Understood. We just barely have enough. Hey, Hito. No 
use. Could you try it again, but more in a fawning way? I believe we should try something else. But fawning. Let it go. <laughs> fawning. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, we're definitely not doing it. Let's uh let's just let's let's just start restart from that first checkpoint. Um Let's It's Hitol Okay, so we may as well just get the one second. Okay. What? Grab that. A book. Use the one second to tear this. Let's use the. Uh. Okay. Ah, uh, that's concerning. Uh, talking to Atomi does nothing. A picture. Just a pic. Let's just do it. I Why don't not? have a pen. You don't have to go that far. Hey, Iba? I said blood, but it isn't in besides. We are in a dream. Still, blood? I'd feel better if you used a different word. For example? Body fluids? That's worse. I do not feel comfortable with that. Okay, yeah, no. Uh... Date, there's no time! Shit, this isn't good! Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, first game over of the entire run. All right, let's go. At least we know what to do now. Uh. The uh, the soup doesn't actually do anything impertinent. I just wanted to use that funny dialogue. Chet. Oh well. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Actually, oh, do we? Just, just in case, because I mean, we do have to do that regardless. Very close to the end, I'm just uh... 
Just the camera, please. Okay, let's see. Hugging would use the, le the lowest time. Um. It's a ceiling. Is that like a jump? A desk fan only moves the air immediately around it, whereas a ceiling fan circulates air in an entire room. Oh, right. Computer slamming into the door, telling us we have two minutes left. Uh, uh, let's lock it. We can't let him in. Right there, boss. Yeah, we did it. All right. Also, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry for being so late. Hello, Boto. Uh, not sure how much more... Dante, this is a serious matter. Where's Boss? Huh? Boss, where is she? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen her since about noon. Damn it. Dante, listen. Something happened while you were in Samil. Huh? Please stay calm and listen. So Sejima's body was discovered. He was cut into pieces and put inside a vase in his mansion. That That's be. fucked up. The housekeeper found him and reported it to the police. A little base, though. And one more thing. So was missing his left eye. You mean the Cyclops killer did it? Probably, yes. What is your next move, Dot? We'll deal with So later. Before that, I need to talk to Boss. I suggest checking her office. Good idea. Not here. Where is she? What the hell is going on? What is going on? Hitomi was shot by Rohan Kumakura to protect number 89? Boss. The plot and thickens. Why was Boss there? Because it was a dream? Was it completely random? No, that can't be. You can't dream of a face you've never seen. Number 89 must know Boss somehow. is on a computer. Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Look at her go. Look at her go. Unlocked. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. That is... There he is, a dirty politician. Girl boss operation was a success. Hey, 
<laughs> and yeah, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> the root's locked. <laughs> yep, that's just, that's how it ends for right now. Uh, we're not gonna... So this lock... Get ready. Uh, this is going to stay like this for most of our runs. Because the game does not like us. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're mostly done for tonight. But... Let's go ahead and start the other end of the of this I of this of the uh, Somnium from Iris. Uh thinking the vein. If you remember last time we spun we spun to one. Now we will hit the TV. <laughs> Let's whack it. Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. It works. It gives results. Do it. This is an old-fashioned object, so... See? Not the fucking rat! Can't believe Richard Rat was old fucking fashion. annihilated. A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. Hmm. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Yep, now we're going on the other end. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Yeah, let's go ahead and shoot it. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. It's worth a shot. Five minutes left, Dante. I see many objects in the room. Let's basically get the TV. It appears to be a frog. A child's painting. Let's hope it's not dangerous, or you might croak. Shut up. Was that supposed to be funny? No. I was just thinking about the meaning of the painting. Okay, buddy. There does not appear to be a particular meaning. I agree. Uh, one second. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Let's go. A shop. Let's uh let's oh. smell it. There is a sweet smell, like syrup or Well, it's either a sweetener or possibly nitroglycerin. Be careful. Because nitroglycerin explodes even from slight impacts, it is usually mixed with acetone to lower the sensitivity. Acetone, huh? I did not expect Iris to be aware of how to handle such dangerous chemicals. Just e-girl antics. Don't worry about it. A double door. Let's try to us burn it. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. Four minutes. A full body. Let's uh ignore that for now, actually. A sh Let's investigate the bottle. Explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream. <laughs> An operating tape. Let's try it. Surgery? Just act it out. Act it out? This is not a children's playtime. It might help reproduce a memory. Yeah, because last time I didn't do anything. But here I believe it I believe it does. Of course, it could very well be incorrect, but... I feel like I'm on a... medical dragon team! Yeah! Something has spawned! Check it out. Just a locker. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. The knife that flew out of Seppuku. Do you wish for me to die? No, I do not. But why must I commit Seppuku? In this foreign land, I believed it to be the only course of action. I refuse. Do you wish to speak a haiku in your final breath? Your samurai impression is ridiculous and inaccurate. Stop that! Okay, look, he had a really good Samurai Jack impression. Don't diss it. Is this Somnium starting to get to you, Date? I'm my usual self. That's the problem. But in any case, I will not do it. The knife that flew out of the lock. Let's try throwing it. Like this? What? I only threw it lightly. Oil drum, television, and tor- I think I understand. 
understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. I don't understand either. I actually can't remember how this played out. It's been a while. <laughs> Shoot and kill. You've less well, than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I mean, sure, but we don't have a bullet. Unless a revolver. You know what? Just in case. I do not see it. Just as. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's just. Just in case. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. An oil drop. I don't think I can make it fall over. Is it just heavy or is it built into the floor? What could be inside? Unknown. An oil. No use. Maybe we don't have to open it. An oil. Spooky. What does this mean? Bullets? Maybe oh, you can use them in that gun? You have one minute left. A rep can we use the bullets we found? This could work. No, not the meme creature. What do they mean by this? Surprised we can go over, honestly. But. What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is... Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? It could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris, she must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him too. Did that happen in reality? I mean, but you're forgetting that So had like fucking I'm sure massive you've had milkers. Dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first no. part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. 
A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we it's don't know if Iris more... and so are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Cops. Uh... Do you know Saul Sergio? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? That's why I'm not suspicious to her. <laughs> Dream? What are you talking about? He the subject of the sink, Iris would not. And then about the message. Iris, the message Ota sent you. I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba. Ota's phone is still broke, but he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Shut up. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. She's a massive suspect though, what? You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here. And I promise I'll tell you everything I know. Fucking like, damn, with how much he studies law, you think you'd actually put in the legwork to become a fucking lawyer? Pussy this ass, ass bitch. To get on my nerves. So, starting what are you to? Going to do? Shit. Let's Iris, go. Come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Also, yeah. Uh, like his. Anytime he fucking pulls out the law book, I just like that's that's his peak cringe. Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Uh... Date! Will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. Now imagine this. Wait, well, no, I already did this bit anyway. Uh, you, you know what's gonna happen. Because Dati's a fucking idiot.
you fucking, you fucking, you fucking son of a bitch. It's like, I already know, but it's just, it's still such a fucking frustrating scene, dude. <laughs> It's pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. I don't know, but afterward, he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! I love how Mayumi just just ignores Date just laying on the fucking floor. Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> Date, the boss is gone. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer. Sent the address to Iba. Yeah, deja vu. Iris. No, that's. Source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, we need to get to the site, now. Again, the rare Ota W. Stay away from Tessa. Uh! Dante, we've almost reached the destination. Please, please let me make it in time.
Okay, yeah, so... Oh, they got fucked up. You okay? Well, this is a comparatively better time. Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Yeah, because this one... Iris doesn't get sawed in half, though. She still loses a fucking eye. And... Ota... While Don't getting worry. stabbed, Iris is, is alive. alive. Backup is en route to this location. God, uh, the fact that they show the open socket is so fun. All right, I'm on it. And the fact that the fact that it's not even the worst of the Igor in this game is just insane to me. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Okay. Uh, we are going to hold off for now. Mainly just wanted to show you the main difference in route. Uh, so yeah, welcome to... This is the, uh, the main core for the Ota and Mizuki routes. Uh, we will decide which one we're going to go with once I believe we hit the next Somnium. But for right now, uh, yeah, this is essentially what we have left to do. And then it's working our way back towards the Annihilation route from before. Which is a little bit more complicated than it sounds. But either way, we've, we've got a little bit left. Uh, though... I think two more sessions we can bang this out, and that should have us completely done by the time Nirvana comes out. Um, as for as for Nirvana, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing like a death stream format. Uh, I'm not sure if I could take that. <laughs> I heard I heard from certain reviews it seems to be of similar length to the original, but I could be wrong. Um, and I mean, I've I've done crazier, but I'm not sure if I want to put myself through that. But we'll see when that time comes. Either way, uh, we're going to hold off for tonight. I feel like you made good progress. Uh, and yeah, I want to thank everyone for coming in. Uh, not sure what time we'll do it tomorrow. Hopefully a little bit earlier because I won't have too much going on. I could probably get any stuff that I need done earlier than, than how I did today. Uh, so yeah, just keep, keep, keep an eye out. I'll, uh, I'll post the uh, times there. Uh, thank, thank you for the, thank you for the follow. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye out, and I hope everyone has a good night. Take care.